Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Okay, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to a new day of classes. Thank you for attending tonight's class. And in this moment, we are going to get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a review of the topics that we had yesterday. Okay, do you remember the topics that we had yesterday, everybody? Do you remember the topics? Parts of the body and place of the city. Exactly. Okay, for example, we have the parts of the body. Okay, and the things, the places that we have in the city. Okay, so these were the two topics. Basically, it was about vocabulary. Okay, it was about the vocabulary. So, parts of the body. Okay, and, uh, and at the same time, we included the, the places in a city. Okay, so in this moment, let me show you the screen. And here we are. Hello, good evening, welcome. Okay, everybody, so these are the parts of the body. Observe, please. Okay, for example, we have shoulder, stomach, hand, thigh, calf, heel, foot, chest, elbow, etc. Now, everybody, take a look at these parts of the body because I will ask you questions about this. Okay. Look, please. For example, we have shoulder, stomach, hand, thigh, calf, heel, foot, toe. Remember, if you're talking about fingers, these are in your hands, like this. Fingers. If you talk about toes, these are on your foot. So this time, no. So some of the other pie, uh, toe. Toe. And then chest, elbow. Now, let's see if you remember everybody. Let's stop okay, sharing the screen in this moment. Okay, and let's listen to your partners. Okay, for example, let's see. Eh, Lourdes. Lourdes Hernandez. How do you say in English? Hombro. Shoulder. Okay, Lourdes. How do you say in English? Cuello. Neck, 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 neck. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Lourdes. Now, two questions for Alejandro. Okay, Alejandro, can you hear me, Alejandro? Yes. Okay, Alejandro, how do you say pecho in English? Check. Yes. Okay, Alejandro, how do you say in English? Dedos. Fingers. Fingers. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Alejandro. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with uh, Israel. Israel, how do you say in English? Brazo. Brazo. Yes. Yeah. Arms, arms. Okay, very good. Arms. So, Israel. Then question number two, how do you say in English, pierna? Um, pierna. Pierna. Brazos, arms, piernas. Legs. No, remember. Okay, legs, legs, it's legs. Okay, very good. Thank you, Israel. Now, thank you. Now let's continue with Evis. Two questions for Evis. Okay, Evis. Okay. How do you say in English, estomago? Stomach. Stomach, excellent. Okay, how do you say in English, garganta? Throat. Throat, very good. Okay. Thank you, Iris. Now let's continue with Kenya. Okay, Kenya, how do you say in English, pantorrilla?
Cow. Cow. Okay, Kenya, how do you say in English? Dedo del pie. Toe. Toe, perfect. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Thank you for your participation. Now, Lisette. Lisette Granados. Okay, how do you say in English? Hombros, Lisette. Um, oh, shoulder. Shoulder, perfect, very good. How do you say in English? Cabeza. Head. Head, okay, thank you. Thank head. You for your head, very good. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Kayla. Kayla Lopez, two questions for you, Kayla. How do you say in English? Eh, Dedos, las manos. Fingers. Fingers. Y dedos de los pies. Toe. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla. Now let's continue with uh, Luis. I'm sorry, um, Maribel. Maribel Pineda. Can you hear me, Maribel? Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, two questions for you, Maribel. How do you say in English? Cuello. Cuello, color. No. Ah, neck. Neck, very good. Okay, how do you say in English? Hombros. Shoulders. Shoulders, okay, perfect, very good, thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Jose. Jose, can you hear me? Jose Sol. Yes. Okay, Jose, how do you say in English? Garganta. It's far. Garganta. Yeah. No. Throat. Throat. Okay, T H R O A T. Okay. And Luis, one more question. The question number two. How do you say in English? Pantorrillas. Que no, pantorrillas. Mm, no, no, it's the same. Ah, thing. okay, everybody, can anybody help me? How do you say that? Can somebody? Okay, that is calf. Calf. Okay, calf. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with Jose Vela. Okay. Jose, how do you say in English? Frente. Is it, I don't hear you. Ah, okay, one more time. Let's see. How do you say in English? Frente. Uh, for her. For her. Very good. Okay. The next question. How do you say in English? Hombros. Shoulder. Shoulders. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Now let's continue with Tamara. Tamara, how do you say in English? Cuello. Hello, Tamara, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so how do you say cuello in English? Neck. Neck, perfect. Okay. How do you say estomago in English? Stomach. Stomach, perfect, very good. Okay, everybody, so this is our, these are some of the parts of the body. And yesterday we were talking about the parts of the body from neck upward. The cuello hacia arriba. Okay, observe, please, everybody. Observe, please. Take a look. Okay, everybody, observe. So we have hair, and these are the eyebrows. Okay, these are the cheeks. The cheeks. Then pay attention to this tooth and teeth. Tooth is singular. Okay, diente, 
and the plural form is tip, tip. Okay, and then we have the lips, the neck, the throat. In this part, this is the chin, the chin. And then this one, this is the mouth, the nose, eyes, and the forehead. Okay, so as you can see, these are the parts of the body from the neck upward. The cuello is arriba. Okay, so these are essential parts of the body. Now let's make some practice. I touch with my finger. I touch a part of the body. And then you have to tell me what part of the body is that. Okay, so let's stop sharing the screen and let's listen to your partners. Okay, for example, let's see uh, Alejandro. Alejandro, look at me, please. What part of the body is this, Alejandro? It's nose. Nose. What about this? Lips. Lips. Fantastic. Thank you, Alejandro. Now, Lourdes Hernandez. What part of the body is this? Forehead. Forehead. This one? Hey. Hi. This is the? The? Hair. Hi. Very good. Hair. 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 Okay. Hair. That's right. Thank you, Lourdes. Now, Israel. What part of the body is this, Israel? Um, chip. The chin. Okay, so what part of the body is this? The complete. Uh, lip. No, complete. No. Okay, yeah, thank you. It's the mouth. Okay, mouth. Remember the pronunciation, everybody's mouth. Okay, thank you, Israel. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Iris. Iris, what part of the body is this? Um, frente. No, no, I don't remember. The two parts. But, ah, eyebrows. Eyebrows, very good. What part of the body is this? Chin. The chin. Thank you, Iris. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with uh, Karina. Okay, Karina. Look at me, please. What part of the body is this? Forehead. Forehead. What about this one? Lips. Lips. Very good. Okay, thank you, Karina. Now let's continue with... Thank you. Um, uh, Kenya, what part of the body is this? Throw. Throw. In this part? Uh, cheek. Cheeks. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Kenya. Now let's continue with Lisette. Lisette. This one. Yeah, yeah. Eyes. Eyes. Okay. And this? Cheek. Cheeks. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Kayla. Kayla, what part of the body is this? Singular and plural. Uh, tooth. Tooth and? Uh, and teeth. Okay, what part of the body is this? Nose. Nose. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Now let's see uh, Maribel. Maribel, what part of the body is this? Hair. Hair. This? Um, um, forehead. Forehead. Very good. Thank you, Maribel. Thank you so much. Now let's see. Let's continue with uh, Jose Sol. What part of the body is this? Uh, lips. Lips. This? Hi. Hair. Very good. Hair. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Now we have the other 
you have other participants. Let's see, Tamara. Okay, Tamara, what part of the body is this? Hello, Tamara, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, what part of the body is this? Um, throat, grass. Throat, 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 throat. Very good, throat. And this one? Eyebrows. Eyebrows, eye, eyebrows. eyebrows. Very good, okay. Thank you for your participation, Tamara. Now, Jose Vela, what part of the body is this? Uh, eyes. Eyes. Uh, okay. Now the singular and plural for this. This is teeth. This is the teeth. Very good. Okay. Thank okay. you, guys. Thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with a different topic for tonight. Okay. Uh, if you remember, we were talking about the places in the city. Okay. We were talking about the places in the city. Let's see, you have to remember okay, the different places in the city. For example, okay, can anybody tell me what is, for example, Starbucks? What is a Starbucks, everybody? Can anybody tell me? Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. That's right. Okay, so Starbucks is a coffee, it's a coffee shop. That's right. Okay, what about a Texaco. What place is that? Gas station. Perfect. Very good. So this is a gas station. This is a gas station. Okay. What about San Martin, Tecleña, for example, in Rosario? What is that? Bakery. 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 Excellent. Bakery. This is a bakery. 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 This is a bakery. Very good. Okay. What about, for example, in El Salvador, we have a specific place. For example, Mercado Exquartel. What is that, everybody? Gas market. Okay, so in this case, this is a, a craft market. Okay, what about the vivienda? What is that? Bank. 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 This is a bank. Very good. This is, this is a bank. Bank. Very good. What about a Amanda Salon? Hairdresser. Hairdressers. Very good. Hairdresser. What about Walmart? What is that, everybody? Supermarket. Okay, that's right. So in this case, Walmart is a, it's a supermarket. Okay, everybody. Now let's pay attention to the things that you can do in these places. Okay. Let's share with you the screen in this moment. Okay, observe everybody. For example, we have the gas station. The gas station. What can you do in the gas station, everybody? You can buy gas for your car. See? Let me show you. Like this. Yes. Okay, you can buy gas for your car. This is the gas station. And then we have the coffee shop. Can anybody tell me what can you do in the coffee shop, everybody? I can buy coffee. Coffee and drink a coffee. I can. We can buy coffee. That's right. Okay. You can buy coffee, for example. In the stairs. Okay, exactly. Coffee, dessert. And pastry. Observe, everybody. Observe, please. In the coffee shop, you can buy coffee, desserts, and pastry. What's the meaning of pastry in this case, everybody? Okay, pastry is pan dulce, pastry. Coffee, desserts, and pastry. Very good. Now, what about in a department store, everybody? For example, Masene Siman is a department store. What can you do there? So we can buy. We can buy clothes. Okay, we can buy TV. clothes. Okay, how do you say in English? Electrodomesticos, appliances. 
like this, appliances, okay, and perfumes. This is an example of the, of the department store. Observe everybody, you can buy clothes, appliances, and perfumes, okay? Usted puede comprar ropa, electrodomésticos, y perfumería, perfumes. Okay, then we have another one. What can you do in the supermarket, everybody? Okay, what can you do in the you, pharmacy? This is an exercise for you. Milk. Okay, this is an exercise for you, everybody. An exercise for you. What can you buy in these places? Okay, in the chat, everybody, in the chat, you have to write the definition. In the chat, nos va a describir la definición. Okay, ¿qué puede hacer en estos lugares? Okay, for example, let's see. In the supermarket, what can you do, everybody? Uh -huh. You can buy uh, meat. You can buy, no, in the supermarket, you can buy food. Food in general, okay? You food. can buy food, yes. You can buy food and things for home, for example. Si tenemos una primera respuesta, supermarket, you can buy food, excellent. In the pharmacy, you can buy. Ok, puede escoger cualquiera de los tres. Y ahí en el chat nos escribe lo que puede comprar en ese lugar. Ok, let's do it, everybody. Supermarket, you can buy food. In the pharmacy. Ok, Karina says, you can buy medicine. Very good. In the butchers, everybody. What can you do in the butchers? Okay, fantastic. Kenya says you can buy vitamins in the pharmacy. Do you remember everybody the definition for a pharmacy for butchers? Butchers is carnicería. Carnicería. Okay, so how do you say carne in English, everybody? Meat. Meat. Excellent. Alejandro has the definition. In the butchers, you can buy. Aspirina, como se dice en inglés. Excuse me? Jose, what is your question? What is your pregunta? No, 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 ya yeah, no. Ah, okay, very well. So, in this case, everybody, Alejandro has the answer. You can buy meat. Okay, in the butchers. In the pharmacy, you can buy medicine or vitamins. Okay, that's right. And now let's write the definitions. Let's write the, pos the possible definitions here. Okay. In the supermarket, you can buy food. The pharmacy, you can buy medicine or vitamins, for example. Okay, in the butchers, you can buy meat and chicken, for example. Carne de res y carne de pollo. Okay, this is the definition. Okay, where we have two more places, everybody. In the park, in the gym, and in the, in the church. Okay, what can you do in these places, everybody? Okay, continue, please. In the chat, write the possible definitions, the activities you can do in these places. Okay, Maribel says you can buy aspirins in the pharmacy. Very good. Okay, in the park, the gym, in the church. What can you do in these places, everybody? Right in the chat, you can choose the bar, the gym, or the church. Give me the definition in the chat, please, in the general chat. Okay, Karina says in the bar, you can walk, perfect. What else? Okay, 
Okay, what is the other definition that we have? Okay, Lourdes says you can run and have fun in the park. Perfect. In the gym, you can jump. Yes, but there is something more specific you can do in the gym, everybody. What is it? In the park, you can ride a bike. Okay. In the church, everybody, what can you do in the remember in the gym? Do exercise. This is the thing you can do in the gym. Okay, Tamara says you can have peace. Okay, yeah, it's possible. Now let's write the definitions, everyone. Let's write the possible definitions. For example, in the park, you can walk, you can run, or you can have fun. Or relax. So there are different activities you can do in the park. In the gym, you can do exercises. In the church, you can worship and have peace, as Tamara said. Everybody observe, please. We have the different Activities you can do in these specific places here. Okay, the coffee shop. Okay, in the department store. In the supermarket. In the pharmacy. In the butchers. Remember butchers, carniceria. Then we have the park, the gym and the church. These are the activities we can do in these places. Okay, we have two more, everybody. In a restaurant, what can you do in a restaurant? Uh -huh. Can anybody tell me? Dictate it for me, please. Give me dicta. What can you do in the restaurant? ¿Qué puede hacer en el restaurante? Or lo puede escribir aquí en el chat. Okay, Evie says in the church you can pray. Good definition. You can eat favorite food. Okay, fantastic. In a restaurant, you can eat your favorite food. Okay, or you can have dinner. There are different different possibilities here. And the other option, remember, you can have dinner. Okay, everybody, what about the bank? What can you do in the bank? Do you remember? In the bank, what can you do? You can keep money or you can withdraw the money. What is the meaning of withdraw? Retirar, hacer retiro de dinero. Okay, like this. Okay, very good. So this is the different activities that you can do. Okay, Israel says you can have breakfast in the restaurant. Perfect. You can eat Chinese food. Yes. You can have a date. Very good. You can eat dinner. You can eat pizza. Different activities. Recuerde que no solamente se enfoca en uno. Okay. You have different options here. You have different options. Okay, everybody. I, I will give you one minute, just one minute. Read the different activities you can do in these places. The different activities you can do in these places, for example, in the gas station, in the coffee shop, the farm and store, supermarket, pharmacy, the butchers, the park, the gym, the church, the restaurant, the bank. Okay? Read 
and pay attention to the different activities you can do in this play. Okay, now let me ask you questions, everybody. Now it's time to remember. It's time to remember now. Let me ask you questions. Okay, for example, Jose Vela. Okay, in the gas station. What can you do in the gas station, Jose? Uh, in the gas station, I can buy gas for my car. Excellent, very good. Thank yeah. you, Jose. Now, let's listen to Tamara. Tamara, what can what activities yes. can you do in the park? I can walk and I can exercise. Okay, you can do it. Running. Very good. Okay, thank you, Tamara. Now, Jose Sol, what can you do in the butchers? <laughs> Excuse me? In the butchers. What can you do in the butchers? Mm, butchers. No. Okay. Let's let's change the question, Jose. What can you do in the pharmacy? Um, I can buy um aspirin. Okay, very good. You can buy medicine, aspirin, mm -hmm. and vitamins. Okay, thank you, Jose. Now let's continue with Maribel. Okay, Maribel, can you hear me? Maribel, what can you do in the gym? In the gym, I, I do exercise. Exercise, very good. This is what you can do in the gym. Very good, thank you, Maribel. Now let's continue with uh, Kayla. Kayla, what can you do in the restaurant? You can have date. Okay, fantastic. You can have breakfast, you can have lunch, dinner, you can have a date, etc. Okay. Now, Lisette Granados, what can you do in the church? You can have peace. You can have peace, okay? You can worship, okay? You can pray, different activities, okay? Thank you. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Kenya. Okay, Kenya, what can you do in the department store? What can you do in the department store? Uh, I can buy clothes. Um, perfumes. Excellent. Excellent. Clothes, perfumes, or you can say appliances, electrodomésticos, appliances. Okay, now let's continue with Katia. Katia Monterroso, what can you do in the supermarket? You can buy food. Okay, fantastic. You can buy food. Very good. Let's see. And um, now let's continue with Karina. What can you do in the gym? Gym, I can do exercise. Very good. Thank you. And aerobics. And aerobics. Do you. exercise or aerobics. Okay. Now let's see. Jenny Melendez. Jenny, what can you do in a coffee shop? In a coffee shop? Uh, I can do coffee shop and I don't know, 
Ah, okay. You can drink coffee. You can eat ah, cake. Coffee and me. Very good. You can drink coffee. You can eat cake, dessert, etc. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now let's continue with uh, Iris. Iris, what can you do in the butchers? In the butchers, I can buy meat. Okay, that's right. You can buy meat or you can buy chicken too. Okay, the food. Very good. Okay. Now let's see Israel. Gas station. What can you do in a gas station? I, uh, I can buy gas for the car. You can buy gas for the car. Very good. Okay, Iris, what can you do in the church? In the church, I can pray and have peace. All right, very good. Thank you. Now let's see Lourdes. What can you do in a coffee shop? You can buy coffee and cookies. Okay, you can buy coffee and cookies. That's right. Okay, now let's see uh, Katia Monterrosa. What can you do in the pharmacy? Katia is leaving the class. Ah, okay, very well. That's right. Okay, thank you. In this moment. So, Alejandro, the same question for you. What can you do in a pharmacy? I can buy vitamins. Vitamins. Okay, medicine or vitamins. vitamins. Very good. Okay, very good. So, everybody, now let's continue with a different kind of vocabulary. Okay, a different kind of structure, too. For example, when you express an obligation, okay, when you express an obligation, Okay, we need to use a specific structure. Okay, when you express an obligation, we need to use a specific structure. Let me show you here. Okay, when you express like an obligation, observe everybody. When it's an obligation for you, you, have, you can say, I have to. I have to. For example, what is an obligation in my work, in my workplace? For example, you can say, I have to make reports. I have to check the email. Okay? I have to uh, clean the office. I have to uh, attend customers, etc. So when you are talking about an obligation, something that is necessary for you, we use have to, okay? Now, everybody, what are some obligations that we have in our house? Observe, please. Obligations at home. Can you give me some examples of obligations at home, everybody? What are some of obligations that we have at home? Okay. For example, clean in the, the house. house. Cleaning. Exactly. So we have wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. For example, we have clean the house. Cook. Like this. Like this. Clean the house. Other obligation, for example, is cook. Cook. Okay, as your classmates say, wash the dishes. What is other obligations? Wash the clothes. Exactly. Okay. Wash clothes. Like this. What is other obligation that we have, everybody? Clean Sweet the mop. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Everybody Sweet observe. Mop. Sweep, so es barrer. Mop, trapear. So we have sweep the floor, barrer el piso, and mop Teacher, the floor. is correct uh, clean the window? That's right, okay, clean the windows. Clean the windows. 
the other one is, for example, iron the clothes. What is the meaning of iron the clothes, everybody? Planchar. Planchar la ropa. Planchar la ropa. Okay. Do the shopping. Buy the food. Exactly. This is for the shopping. Okay. Uh, everybody, be careful with this. Okay, with the last one. Pay attention. Go shopping. It's when you go and buy, for example, uh, shoes, perfumes, you buy uh, clothes, jeans, etc. Okay, but in this case, okay, when we say do the shopping, it's when you go to the supermarket and buy food, or when you go to the market. This is do the shopping. Okay, do the shopping. It's two different things. Okay, what is other activity that we have? For example, make wash the car. Okay, wash the car. And also we have water, the plants. Okay, everybody pay attention to the last one. Pay attention to the last one. Water, okay. What's the meaning of water? So it's agua. Pero también agua. funciona como verbo. También funciona como verbo. ¿Qué significa como verbo? Regar. Regar. Regar las plantas. Okay, regar las plantas. Okay, so we have clean the house, cook, wash the dishes, wash clothes, sweep the floor, mop the floor, clean the windows, iron the clothes. Okay, here you can say wash the car too. Okay, wash the car. And we have one more. This is make the bed. Okay, cuando usted se levanta, por ejemplo, usted arregla la cama. Okay, ya está. so make the bed. Make the, ah, it's here. I have the page. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Thank you. Okay, so the other one is. We they, can say do. Or if you have pets, bait the pets. Bañar ah. mascotas. Bait the dog, for example. Bait the pets. This is a obligation that we feed have. Feed the home. pets. Or feed the pets. I have the page. This is other verb that we can use here. Feed. The pets. Okay. Now, everybody, what are the things that you hate to do? Give me four examples, please. For example, you can say, I hate to wash clothes. I hate to wash the car. I hate to clean the windows. I hate to iron the clothes. What are the four things that you hate? De estas cuáles son cuatro que usted odia hacer. Okay, let's start. Let's go one by one. Vamos a ir uno por uno. Okay, let's start with Jose Bella. Tell me four things you hate, please. I hate wash the dishes. Uh -huh. uh, I hate a sweep the floor. I hate to. to. Um, I hate to sweep the floor. I, I hate to wash the dishes. I hate to uh, sweep the floor. Okay. Uh, what is mean mop, mop, mop the floor? Mop. What is mean? Trapear, trapear el piso. Ah, okay. Um, uh, no, and uh, then I hate, I hate to, um, um I don't know. Uh, iron the closet. Okay, cook or wash clothes, for example. Ah. Uh, um, so, so. No more. Uh, no more. <laughs> okay. So, so. Well. Thank you, Jose. Now, let's listen to a different participant. Tamara, four things you hate, please. Tell me. I hate to clean the windows. Uh -huh. I hate to iron the clothes. And I hate bait the pets. Okay. In this case, so, it's please. bait the pets. Yes, it's difficult, right? Bañar a las mascotas, bait the pets. Ah, I forgot to include one more, everybody. One more obligation that we have here is pay bills. What is the meaning of pay bills, everybody? Pagar recibos. Okay, this is the pay, pay bills. Observe, this is the number, number three. Clean the house, put pay bills. Pagar recibos, the internet bill, the electricity bill, etc. Okay, so this is another obligation that we have. 
Now, Jose Sol, give me four things that you hate to do, please. I um, sweep the floor. Uh -huh. I mop. I, I hate? hate? No, I, I they mop the floor. Huh? I, I they feed the pets. Okay, I hate to feed the pets. Okay, very well. So in this case, everybody, you can say three or four things that you hate. Remember, this is the verb. I hate to. Okay, and that's the, the verb that we have. I hate to. I hate to do the shopping. I hate to wash the dishes, etc. Now, let's continue with uh, Marinette. It's your turn, Marinette. Three or four things you hate to do. Mm. Well. I had I had um, iron the clothes. Iron, iron, iron the clothes. Iron, iron the clothes. Uh -huh. um, Number two. I had the ver, do you the shopping? I hate to do the shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three. Um. Ver. Creo que solo es. Only that, only two things. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Manuel. Let's see. And uh, Kayla, two, three, or four things you hate. Tell us, please. It's your turn. I hate to. I iron the clothes. Okay, no. I hate to iron the clothes. I hate, I hate clean the windows. Uh huh. I hate to. Wash the kitchen. Wash the I kitchen. Cook. And you hate to and cook too. And I hate do, do the do shopping. And you hate to do the shopping. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with uh, Lisette Granados. Three things you hate, Lisette. I hate to pay bills. Mm -hmm. I hate to mop the floor. Uh -huh. I hate to iron clothes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, a, let's see, Kenya. Three or four okay. things you hate. Um, I hate to wash the dishes and wash clothes. Uh -huh. I hate to iron the clothes and make the bed. And you have to make the bed too. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your participation. Now let's continue with a different participant. Let's see, Katia Monterosa. Three or four things you hate to do at home. I hate to cook. Huh? I hate to pay bills. I have to pay bills. Me too. Uh -huh. One more, Katya, please. Okay, Katya, maybe you have problems with your connection, with your, with your internet. Maybe you can write it in the in the chat, no problem. Okay, you can include it in the chat. The three things you hate. Okay, now let's see, Karina, tell us please, three or four things you hate to do. I hate to wash the car. I hate to bait the dogs. And I hate to do the shopping. You hate to do the shopping too. Yeah, it's difficult that sometimes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you for your participation. 
Now Thank let's you. continue with a uh, Jenny Melendez. Okay, I hate to pay bills. Uh -huh. I had to um, clean the window. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to wash the motorcycle. Ah, okay, you have to wash the motorcycle. Very good. Okay. Yes. Uh, so Only that. Uh, I, I had to mop the floor. You have to mop the floor too. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenny. Now, let's continue with Evis. It's your turn, Evis. Tell us, please, what are the things you hate to do at home? Okay, I hate pay the bills, I hate wash the dishes, and I hate iron the clothes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Evis. Now, let's see. And uh, Israel, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, clean the house. Uh -huh. Watch clothes. Ah, but you have to say I hate to. I hate to wash clothes. I hate to wash clothes. I hate uh, clean the the window. Clean the windows. I clean the windows. Keep the beds. Okay, you have to bait the pets too. Okay, thank you, Israel. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, longer days. Tell us three or four things you hate to do. Okay, I hate to bait my pets. Huh? I hate to iron my clothes. I hate to clean the window. And I hate to wash the car. And you hate to watch that part too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's conclude with Alejandro. Alejandro, it's your turn. Three or four things you hate to do. Alejandro, can you hear me? Okay, so maybe he has problems with his internet connection. So everybody, as you can see in this moment, Okay, these are the obligations that we have at home. Okay, so as you can see, these things are very, very necessary at home. Okay, and many of these things are the things that we hate to do. Okay, remember when you are using this expression, I hate to, uh, the pronunciation has to be different. Okay, the pronunciation changes in the intonation. Okay, aún la entonación cambia un poco. Es así como de enojo. I hate to pay bills. I hate to wash clothes. I hate to iron the clothes. I hate to bathe the pets. I hate to cook. Okay, so when we use this expression, remember, you need to change the intonation. You need to change the intonation. Okay, everybody? And I don't know if you have any questions before we finish. No questions at all, everybody? My questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, so everybody, don't forget it, please. Try to continue working in the platform. Remember, this week we have an important evaluation. So it's important that you can do all the exercises. And at the same time, okay, if you have any questions, if you have doubts, you can contact me. So you can contact me in the WhatsApp group. If you want, you can take a screenshot. Si gusta, puede tomar una captura de pantalla ahí de su duda y nos la comparte ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay? So, everybody, Teacher. thank you so much. Uh -huh. Tell me. Teacher, mm, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, no está. Vamos a ver. No. Eh, ahí solo déjeme su nombre. Voy a comunicarme okay. yo con mi coordinadora para que la pueda para que la pueda agregar. ¿Cuál es su nombre completo? A, ahorita lo escribiré en el chat. Ok, de acuerdo. Y me lo dejan para poder tenerlo en cuenta. Y así decirle a la coordinadora. 
Okay, everybody. Okay. Thank you Gracias. for your attention, everybody. And see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Okay, have a good night. Okay, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Le voy a poner el 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 enlace del WhatsApp del grupo a la compañera. Ah, también eso podría ser. Podría ponerle ahí el enlace que está compartiendo Tamara. Ahí está, y automáticamente puede ingresar. Ok, thank you. And good night, everybody. How about good night and see you tomorrow? Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.